up what's up what's up my fellow aries welcome guys thank you for joining me for becky's house of card i hope you are having a phenomenally blessed day please like this video share this video subscribe to my channel set that notification bell down below and we are doing a reading today in regards to love now just a little bit so you guys know mine is not about predicting the love that's coming into your life mine are about what it is that you can heal in your life so that you can invite love in because essentially that's what we're all working on is overcoming those blocks that are within us so that we can have what it is that we desire and that is what i focus on so just so you guys know this is not a prediction in love this is about what it is that you need to heal so that you can invite love in okay Perfect. So without further ado, let's get started. We'll go ahead and shuffle the cards here. What is it that Aries needs to know in regards to love? Source, what messages do you have for Aries in regards to love? What messages do you have for Aries in regards to love? What messages do you have for Aries in regards to love? What messages do you have for Aries in regards to love? Source, what messages do you have for Aries in regards to love? messages do you have for Aries in regards to love? Perfect. Okay. All right. What messages do you have for Aries in regards to love source? How can we help out Aries in regards to love? Great. Right. Thank you. What other messages do you have for Aries in regards to love? One card at a time, please. Oh, thank you. What other messages do you have for Aries in regards to love? Thank you, Source. All right. You love me some quick shuffles. All right. And then we have the Five of Cups on the bottom in the upright. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. We've got the Knight of Swords in the upright. Okay. We have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Ace of Swords. All right. Okay, Aries. Well, let me just say I'm proud of you guys. You've come out of some really crazy energies for sure. Um, Yeah, so I feel like something is coming in. Something is rushing in. I don't think it's in regards to romantic love, though. The energy that I'm getting here is that this is in regards to something that you're going to be able to build with somebody. So this could be a friendship a partnership but it could very well be romantic love that you're going to be able to build with but a new venture is about to present itself to you and it is coming flying in okay it is going to come in like aries i'm here i'm in your face let's go let's do this all right bitch we got something to do <laughs> this is about change for you so you've done a lot of changing you have really grown as an individual you've really opened yourself up and so it's sort of like, this is a beautiful card. That's why I say it's not like necessarily romantic love. This is about building lasting friendships and having those lasting soul tribe people in your life. So it could very well be romantic love. But again, this is, this is more on the lines of like building your soul tribe and having that clarity and that freedom to do so. And it's like, you've had to overcome a lot. I feel like you've been emotionally going to war for a long time. I feel like you've felt disconnected and blocked from yourself for a very long time and it's interesting we have every element here but yours you're not actually in your element it's almost like you had to become the magician and really embody every other element but yours and this has brought you up into a place of power and strength and owning yourself as an individual right and i'm getting that leo energy coming through that real powerful like in your face energy like I'm going to take what's mine, you know, it's like, why do I hear this, this quote? Men see the world as it is and ask why. I see the world as it is not and ask, or as it isn't and ask why not. That's the energy that's coming through here. So it's like you've really been working on finding some sort of passion that you can come into. And while there is no passion on the table here, it is very apparent to me right now. There's this energy of just like, I'm ready to embrace life from a new perspective. I'm ready to embrace life and be my own damn hero. I'm ready to rush in. Like, it's interesting, but they want me to play your actual energy here. Like, look, you're rushing into yourself. You're not rushing into love. Like, I think you just kind of like, had it out with love Aries like you've really kind of just had it out with love for a little while and you're like you know what I'm gonna rush into my own energy I'm gonna save myself 
and I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to find out who I am. And I'm going to battle for myself because I'm worth that. I'm worth battling for myself. And Source is like, good job, Aries. Go. Yes. I'm so proud of you. You did exactly what you needed to do. And now there's this new opportunity that's coming in, these new ventures. You're, you could very well be going somewhere. You could very well be creating something new with somebody. Sorry about that, guys. Hold on just a second. Okay, I apologize, guys. That scared me, and I needed to take care of it. There's a lot of, like, stuff going on right now, so my apologies. But it's like you're rushing in to find out the truth and really battle for yourself, and Source is saying now is the time for me to really bring in these new things that you've been asking for. Like, it's like you've set yourself apart from trying to blend in with the crowd. You're very good at building not a wall, but boundary around yourself now and maintaining these boundaries, and it's like, I was saying you, you become the magician you've like inherited every other element besides your own element because you know your element you're you're familiar with your element and you're willing to take your element and then you wanted to embrace these other aspects right you wanted to be able to have a good frame of mind you wanted to be able to build something that you wanted in life you wanted to be able to have emotional fulfillment and this is talking about a beautiful connection with society you have the ability to what's the word market but it's not marketing um uh oh my gosh i can't even think of it when you go and you talk to people and you get people connected anyways i, I really cannot think of the word right now like it's coming through and I, it's like on the tip of my tongue and i'm hearing them but i can't hear them at the same time it's like they keep showing me this picture of how you guys are standing in front of a crowd of people and just getting everybody involved with one another okay networking wow that was crazy i could not think of that you guys might be tongue twisted right now in this time and remember mercury retrograde is coming up too uh i believe i'm recording this before mercury retrograde if not then there could be some communications that you guys need to pay attention to as you're coming into this which is why i couldn't figure it out okay but yeah, you guys are going to be really good at networking, and this is all about networking, building those stable relationships around you, having people help you come up into a new place. Again, having money follow you and build you up into a new place. This is also material manifestations of things, and you're gaining clarity on your, on your journey. I feel like, yes, you want love, but you're not concerned about romantic love here. Like, I'm not getting that you are really concerned about romantic love at all, Aries. In fact, you're more concerned with building up your friendships because I feel like romantic love hasn't kind of done you the best in the past. Hold on, I'm kind of interested. Yeah, yeah, there might be some romantic love coming in for sure, but... Like, right now, you're more concerned about building yourself and your friendships and, and having that stable community around you right this is community energy here this is community energy here and this is coming into that place of balance with yourself understanding that you're worth fighting for oh aries i'm so proud of you like sometimes you guys are so stubborn like i love you i love you i've met a lot of aries in my life my brother was an aries my grandpa's an aries like i know aries i know aries and sometimes y'all are so damn stubborn because you need things to be a certain way and this is like you totally like getting out of your element like you're venturing into something new like you're being brave and courageous and following a dream and you're really trying to build that up and let me just say i'm so proud of you aries like i don't know what more i can say on this because this is just beautiful energy coming through like this is absolutely gorgeous like you've done the healing and this to me is the most important this right here this imagery here is you rushing in to save yourself not looking to somebody else to save you it's like when i rush in to save myself i have faith that things are going to come to me i have faith that source is going to open up the doors of opportunity for me and then that's what's brought you clarity this is balance and clarity listening to your intuition listening to your guides listening to source listening to your higher self listening to your heart finding passion in what you do moving forward and right now you're just so focused on building up the people that are around you. You're coming into this beautiful balance. You're finding a place of authenticity within yourself. And that's so very rare on this journey because so many people are so concerned about having somebody fill space in their life. And you're not even about that right now. You're on this journey of like, I when, I, when somebody comes into my life, I want them to be 
in my life because they want to be. I don't want them just feeling space. I don't want them just being there because, like, they have to have a purpose in my life. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And so you've got a lot of opportunities coming in. Look at that. Dragonfly emergence. Your perspective has changed on life. You've allowed yourself to open yourself up to a new perspective. You're emerging as this beautiful dragonfly. Like dragonflies to me are a sign of good luck. And it's like you're embracing your inner luck and knowing that you're the one that... It's not that you're a lucky person. You're like, I make my own luck. Like that's what I'm hearing. It's like, I don't believe I'm lucky. I believe I make my own luck. And I'm going to continue to do that because I've seen how it worked. It was like... I feel like for so long, Aries, you were in this negative energy and it was like you were wondering for a time if it's true that my life falls apart when I stay negative. Is it true that my life might actually be better if I start living positively? And I feel like that's what's happened. Okay, so this is a whole stack, but I'll take this one. That's the one that flew, was on top there. Oh my gosh, Aries. Holy crap. Look at this. Butterfly soul, you're finding your soul purpose. I'm so proud of you, Aries. I'm so proud of you. You're learning what it is that you're here to do. You're learning how to bring love to the world around you. You're not getting stuck in this energy of like, the world is against me. You're like, you know what? I'm going to embrace my new beginnings and I'm going to run with it. And I love you, Aries, because of that. Like, I admire Aries, because you guys are so willing to start something, and when you start something, man, you put everything into it, and this is, this is nothing shy of that. This is an exact example of that. This is a cycle that you have completed, and you are coming up into a new way within your life, and I'm proud of you, Aries. I'm proud of you. This is beautiful. You've been willing to take the messages of truth and find out who you are and allow the transformation come. This is about transforming into the soul being that you are and you are allowing that to come. And it is so amazing that it's coming. And then you got Bianca Del Rio. She says, a unicorn is a horse with extra potential. Unicorns for me are a sign of purity. You've been able to purify your soul and allow the truth of who you are to rise forth. And that's so wonderful like when when you allow that to happen you get to open up doors for yourself without realizing it source is just like basically sending you things and you get to determine what are your best opportunities and that's what source has been wanting all along for you to see the potential of who you are she also says true love is clearly illegal in most states like i said you're not really concerned with true love right now like you're like in this energy if love like that is meant to find me it's going to find me while I'm doing what's best for me. And I'm okay with that. Like you have come into a place of completely being okay with that. And I'm just, I'm in shock. From all the love readings that I've ever done, this is probably the most amazing love reading I've ever had as of yet. Right? Because we never know what's coming in the future. <laughs> so to those Aries that have clicked on this, I just want you to know that I'm super proud of you. And if you haven't clicked off because this isn't really predicted true love, then I just want to say I'm proud of you because you guys really are on a different journey than so many people. And then she says, everyone needs that special someone who can stroke your hair while you cough with your head in the toilet. And what did I say? You're in the process of networking right now. You're in the process of networking and building up sturdy, sturdy relationships in your life. This is friends, soul tribe, family. You're not coming from this energy anymore like, I have to have love. You're coming from this energy of, I have to be centered in myself, and I have to have powerful relationships around me. Otherwise, I'm not in it. I don't want to deal with it. I'm not, I don't, not about that. You've got 10 coming out twice. This is a cycle for you. 10, 10 is a very powerful number for you guys. This is really what I have for you, Aries, and I just want you to know that I'm so super proud of you. So please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video goes go live. Thank you for joining me for a moment in Becky's House of Cards. And until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow Arians, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love. Becky's out of the house for now, but until we meet again, peace out. I love y'all. Bye.